Hey guys, my name is Shai. Welcome to another yes or no pick a card reading. I am really happy to be using the Crow Tarot deck today because I woke up and I just felt like it was a Crow Tarot day. And when I took my dog outside, I saw two crows fly overhead and, you know, caw a bunch. And normally that wouldn't be noteworthy. I mean, depending on where you live, um, where I'm from, crows are everywhere all over the place, like all the time. And I, I really love them. And, uh, was always so used to being surrounded by them when I was growing up. And then I moved out here to the middle of this desert and there are so few crows. I mean, obviously they are around, but you know, I can go months and months without seeing any or even hearing any. Uh, and it really kind of bums me out, <laughs> honestly. So I was really excited to see some this morning and I felt like they were saying that yes, today is a crow tarot day. So uh, go ahead and ask your question and pick your card. Uh, it's we got numbers one to 10, just across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and number 10. Okay. Card number one, justice. This is a yes to anybody who is in alignment. This is a sign that you are going to be getting what you deserve, that the energies are going to be equalizing that things are going to be fair, that you'll be treated fairly. And if you've been been treated unfairly in the past, or if you've been some kind of like lack or just general injustice that, you know, these scales are going to be balancing out and that this is almost always a good sign, right? But if anybody tuning into this happens to ha be asking like, am I going to get away with the horrible thing I did? Well, then that would be a no, because that would mean that, you know, the scales are balancing and you are going to have to make up for what you did, right? You're going to be held accountable, but I don't think that that's really applies to many of you guys. Also, this is really synchronous for me. The fact that the justice card came up uh, first and basically first thing for me today, because yesterday I was receiving some like downloads about Libra energy, which obviously made me think a lot about the justice card because those two cards, uh, the justice card and Libra energy is related and my uh, ear just started ringing <laughs> and in a really weird way. So I think I have to go into a little bit of a tangent. Um, you'll know if this is relevant to you or not. But a lot of the time we think of the justice card or Libra energy as almost being like non-judgmental, you know, like people with lots of Libra in their chart or with Libra anywhere significant tend to tend to think, you know, oh, I really want to treat everybody equally and fairly. And I do that by being non-judgmental, by taking people as they come. And I don't really know if that particular articulation of this energy is really accurate because justice is all about judgment. It is all about being judgmental. You know, dishing out judgment, dishing out justice requires that a judgment has been made. That's not necessarily bad because justice and Libra energy is all about dishing out justice and judgment fairly, evenly, equally, seeing everything clearly, viewing all sides unbiasedly. It's like that great equalizer. Um, you know, my, my mom is a Libra and my sister is Libra rising. So I grew up uh, around this. And when I was growing up, my mom was like obsessed with making sure that me and my sister were treated exactly evenly, like exactly equally. You know, we got the same presents at the same time. Um, if it was some kind of special birthday, you know, when I turned 12, I got a stereo. So, you know, two and a half years later, my sister turned 12 and she got a stereo. Everything was always like completely equal. That was her way of, you know, making sure that justice was being served in the family, I guess. So I don't really know why, but just yesterday, I just kept feeling this like information streaming in. And I kept thinking about how Libra and the Justice card is not at all about being non-judgmental. It is about almost like neutralizing its judgmentalness, <laughs> neutralizing its capacity for being judgmental by judging everybody in an exactly even way. It's almost like justice doesn't like the fact that it has to dish out justice or doesn't like the fact that it's judgmental because it probably understands that judgment on some level isn't fair. So in order to even that out, that is why 
the Justice card and Libra is so fixated on unbiased, even justice and fair play and equalizing the playing field for everybody. It is in order to neutralize the effects of judgment. That was pretty weird and not really related to the yes or no, but this was just such a synchronicity for me uh, that I feel like I had to put that out there. So maybe this was relevant to somebody, but if anyone is still listening to this and you're still wondering if this was a yes or no, to reiterate, the justice is a yes as long as you are aligned and you know working towards your greatest good and the collective's greatest good. It's only a no if you're trying to get away with something shady. And that's basically that. Okay, card number two. Four of Cups. Uh, this is a no. This is about somebody who isn't depreciating what they have and is feeling a little sulky. I think, in fact, the best word for the Four of Cups is ennui, um, which is that French word for that particular kind of sulky, but also like cultivated, sort of like hipster middle class boredom. <laughs> you know, think of like a teenager sulking, feeling, you know, like, oh, they're so hard done by. Their life is so hard. And, you know, they have to go to school and their parents suck and this and this and that. That is that is really this uh, Four of Cups energy. It's it's sulky. So this is a no. Um, and it's, it's also an invitation to Consider whether things are really as crappy as you sometimes feel they are. See if you can focus on the good things and really try to sit in gratitude for what you do have. Yeah, for me, the Four of Cups is always a little bit of a slap in the face. It's like, hey, you know, stop. <laughs> stop sulking around. Stop thinking about how hard you have it and really try to appreciate how much you have because you have way more than you think. Okay, card number three. Ten of Pentacles, which would be great, but this is in reverse. <sighs> I got to go with a no on this one, unfortunately. If this were right side up, it would have been a yes, but this is a no. Um, there is something like blocking your flow of abundance here. There's something in the way, and I think this block can be overcome and I think it will be overcome. So you might be able to turn this no into a yes down the line, uh, but something needs to change first. I almost feel like this is more of an internal block because reversals are really, um, usually for me, they feel like they send the energy inwards in internal. So I don't, I don't really feel like somebody or some force is blocking you from achieving, you know, <laughs> whatever, land of milk and honey you were trying to cultivate, I feel like it is an internal blockage. It could be so many things. It could be, you know, negative thinking, anxiety that you just can't see past, you know, paranoia, addictions, and that could be addicted, you know, to anything, not just to heroin. Could be that you can't let go of something. Maybe you have to let go of something in order to find your abundance. Maybe you're not willing to trust. You're not willing to let in enough love. You're not willing to let in more light. Kind of just going through the Rolodex of blockages that I've had to let go of. You know, I don't want anybody to think that I'm sitting here on my high, high horse. I'm, you know, remembering blockages that I've had to release. <laughs> Weird. Um, I just happened to look to my right out my window and a plastic bag flew by, which is weird because I'm on the fourth floor. I have no idea how that's relevant to this, but <laughs> whenever I see weird things like that during a reading, I always feel like that is somehow syncing up with the energy. Um, I'll leave that guys up to you. So this is a no, but I do feel like you can turn this no into a yes. If you can make the right kind of move. Okay. Card number four is the wheel of fortune. I always see this card as a yes. The only thing is it is not a card of stability. So this is a yes for trying new things. It is a yes for Getting what you deserve, it is a yes for things changing, things evolving. The only thing it's not is a sign of stability because 
you know, it is reflecting about how we are moving through all of the energies, all of the signs of the zodiac, all areas of life. Everything is constantly in flux. So if you're asking for stability, what we do have here is an invitation for stability because an important thing for me with the wheel of fortune is you can choose to ride the outside of this wheel and experience all of these ups and downs or you can be the spoke in the middle if you can find truly truly find your center find a way to sit in your neutral state and to sit in your awareness then you can sit in the middle here and then you can watch the world revolve around you without actually turning with it and that would be a really, really useful thing for everybody to, do, everybody to be doing right now because like the collective psyche is filled with so much unnecessary and unfounded like anxiety right now that it it's almost like taking on a life of its own. It's like the energetic, humanity's energetic field right now is almost like a firestorm. If you think of a firestorm as, you know, you light a fire and you're burning a city and well eventually the fire takes on a life of its own and actually starts like creating its own like weather <laughs> because that's how powerful it's gotten and that's how i feel that this uh this energy of anxiety is getting on the planet right now it's like feeding off of itself and creating its own energetic fluxes and it's not a great thing to be for anybody to be experiencing and so if you're struggling with kind of coping with everything that's happening on the planet right now you want to find your center you want to find your center so that you can watch all of these events uh, spiral around you, but you can sit in the middle of it without, um, you know, having to experience it all the way into your core. Okay, card number five. Two of Pentacles. I see this as a yes. You might be pretty busy, busy juggling different aspects of your life. Um, you might be juggling your money. So this is a yes, but it's not like <laughs> a, you know, really, really firm, firm yes. It's more of a yes. You know, if you're if you're worrying about money, yeah, you're going to be okay. Your, your money situation is going to be okay. It might be tight. You might have to make some sacrifices and some cutbacks and do some budgeting. But, you know, you're, you're going to be fine. And by the end of the day, you will, you know, manage to get all your bills paid and, you know, you won't be homeless and it's going to be fine. You know, if you're asking about a relationship, things might be a little cattywampus for a bit here. But, you know, you guys will find your balance. You'll be able to juggle it all and you're, you're going to weather the storm. Um, it's that kind of thing. You know, everything's going to be fine. There's just going to be some bumps along the way and you're going to have to be a little bit of a little bit adaptable in order to like see your yes all the way through to the end. OK, card number six, ten of swords. That is a big fat obvious no that it's a no and that's <laughs> that's all there is to that you can't get much more no than this um it's not just a no it's like a no now and forever something is either like over for you something is done or or some kind of timeline that you're asking about in the future is like off the table for <laughs> off the table for you. And I know this can, depending on what you're asking about, this can really hurt to hear. Uh, I know that um, I've, I've really received this card when I really, 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 really wanted something to happen. And the 10 of swords just like kept coming up and it was coming up with like 10 of swords, nine of swords, death, the tower and like four of swords and the hanged man. And I was just like, oh my God, stop. Like, like okay. and you know, then uh, I had to a stop asking about that problem because the cards were like, it was not just no, it was like, oh, hell no, like never. Right. Uh, so I know how frustrating and infuriating that is. Um, but I can say from experience that whatever doors are closing for you, that's just because down, further down the hallway, better doors are opening. Like just, I know that sounds impossible, but trust me, this is how these things always work out. We just can't, we don't have the perspective here in our little linear lives to see. But once you live a little farther, go a little farther down the hallway, you will find doors to better places, to probably places you, you couldn't even imagine. So this is also a signal to like stop asking about 
this question. <laughs> I, I'll get the Ten of Swords a lot about a question if I keep asking about it. And then eventually it's like the universe is like, you know, knock it off. <laughs> like, stop asking. We're tired of telling you no and, you know, in 10 different ways. So we're giving you the final no and like you got to you got to quit. So whatever it is, guys, you got to set it aside and try to find your peace with it. Do whatever you need to do to find closure. And then, you know, if you have to go through a grieving process, do your grieving and then pick yourself back up and find look to the horizon and find what new and exciting things are waiting for you things that will be better than than better than this better than this situation because just keep on moving and you know better things are going to be coming okay card number seven the fool the fool is always a yes to me but it's not it, it's not a firm <laughs> like forever yes it is a yes saying definitely explore that opportunity start that project give that a shot set out on that adventure go ask that person out you know whatever it is go for it but don't like be you don't you have no idea what is further down that path start on your path walk down that road but you have just remember that you have no idea where that is taking you and you have no idea what is in store for you. You don't know where that road is going at all. So start your journey. You know, pack your bags, whistle a tune while you journey off into your new adventure. But really stay flexible, keep an open mind and get ready to like, you know, take any exit ramps or, you know, take any fork in the road because you don't know what's coming. But definitely this is a, an invitation to go for it and see where it takes you. Okay, card number eight. <sighs> seven of Swords. Oh, I'm sorry, this is the Seven of Wands. So this is a no. Somebody is feeling really embattled. Somebody is disappointed as well. This poor crow, he's been through, you know, the conflict of the Five of Wands and the momentary triumph of the Six of Wands, but here he is finding that, well, not everything is as great as he'd hoped. You know, now he's made it to the top of his cliff, but all these other birds are, you know, coming to get him. So you guys are, you know, you're tired, you're feeling embattled, you're feeling a little bitter. <sighs> so this is this is such a no energy. It's like making me tired, just 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 sensing it. I really feel like you guys need to just take a break. You need to you need to check out, take a break, look after yourselves a little bit. And if you're feeling like everybody is kind of irritating you, bothering you, kind of out to get you or a little bit after you, or if they're they're trying to like, you know, put too much too much chili in your soup, like if somebody is like trying to poison your your water supply, like it I feel like there's just you feel like you aren't resonating with the people around you and that they're just like trying to bring it down so you guys in that like just i feel like you guys need to take a time out so your answer is a no and with some advice to like you know step back chill out find some time alone and get some perspective i feel like that's what you guys need so good luck with that guys uh hang in there okay card number nine Three of Wands. This is a yes. Uh, the Three of Wands is a great card to get. It is like a little boost of momentary optimism and hope and a signal that you're totally on the right track. You know, whatever you've been working on, it is in like its first phase of fruition. We always say with the Three of Wands, you know, that your ships are coming in, you are starting to see progress and it's really giving you a burst of hope. And a little bit of proof, like a little bit of ta tangible evidence that, yes, it's finally starting to happen. It's starting to happen, guys. Whatever it is, it's starting to happen. It's like, really to me, this feels like, you know, when you're a teenager and you're waiting your entire life to be able to, like, move out of your parents' house. And, of course, you know, when you're 15, that feels like forever. It feels like eons and eons away and it feels like you'll never make it. And then finally, you know, if you're when you're 19, you get your first apartment and you're so excited and, you know, you, you just 
you sign the lease and that's that feeling of, yes, I can't believe it's finally happening. I've waited so long. <laughs> that's, that's the vibe I get here. So congratulations, guys. You got a little bit of good news here. Things are definitely going uh, the right way for you. You're on the right track. Um, really, the message here is to just stay the course, stick with it, because um, you still got a lot more work to do and things aren't completed yet, but you're totally on the right path. Okay, card number 10. Eight of Pentacles. This is a yes, really particularly anything about work, anything work related. This is a really good card signaling that you are uh, like gaining mastery about something. You have put a lot of hard work in and you know, you're getting pretty close to the finish line. Like look at how this, this crow has been etching these pentacles into these coins. He's got them all up here. He's collecting them and he's finishing this one off. So your hard work is paying off. And I feel like you're also going to be gaining the respect that you've been earning from your colleagues, your friends and your family, maybe even your community. Um, if this doesn't pertain to any kind of career or school related thing, I would interpret it to mean, you know, this is good news. The Eight of Pentacles is definitely a good news card and it's about looking towards the future. So if this were uh, a relationship question, a little bit weird to get the Eight of Pentacles in a relationship question, but I would probably think that that means you guys are planning for the future. You know, maybe you just sat down and had a conversation, uh, you know, about where you are in your relationship and should you move in together? Well, this would be a good sign that, you know, yeah, you guys have got all your ducks in a row and this is a good time to go for that. And you guys are also, um, to me, this also signals that you are making like clear, grounded, rational decisions, but you're not leaving your hearts out of this, obviously. But this would be a signal to me that you are, you don't have your head in the clouds. Like you're not making completely emotionally based decisions. You have reasons to do what you want to do and they're good ones. It's a little bit low key, unless it's, unless this is a work, if this is for career, then this is a really like high frequency card. If it's for anything else, it's totally good news. It's absolutely a yes. It is signals that, um, you guys are thinking about the future and things are going to, should be going well for you in the future, but it's a little bit more low key for, you know, questions not directly pertaining to career or your physical life projects. And that's the end of this pick a card reading. I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.